This butterfly comes every day for this lime tree. Flitting butterfly. And uh, today is December 5th, 2004. There, the flitting butterfly is here again. Never stay still. And disappeared. And then back again. Seems to like this lime plant, which is outside Papaya Vets. This morning I just met one senior citizen, probably around 70. He was talking to me about his five dogs, five schnauzers actually, tattoo on his back. So he would have uh, them with him all the time. Now, this uh, elderly citizen I, I met him when he was uh, probably 15 years ago when the, when the schnauzers were young. So after that, when the schnauzers grow older, they develop various diseases. So one, one of them had squamous uh, cell carcinoma of the nose. So he told me this con man vet suggested operation uh, put a drip put a tube through from the brain to the nose and evacuated all the nasal cells cost him 4000 and the uh, dog was suffering from bleeding and uh, the cancer came back again and from the nose and so that's why he said this was a con vet uh, to con him to do the surgery instead of telling him there was no hope and so he need not have to put the dog to sleep and spend four thousand dollars well anyway so each uh, client has his own uh, opinion then there was another vet he, he, he told me his uh, colleague asked him to see his son who had uh, the colleague had spent about 500,000 mortgage to open a practice. Then he went there for the year trouble, one, one standard year trouble. Uh, the vet did a blood test and uh, didn't uh, explain to him anything. But one month later, the dog died of kidney failure. So I told him that uh, the dog might not have kidney. kidney trouble at the time when he was standing for ear infections which he uh, disagreed with me but anyway this is his opinion that this this vet is not thorough not like the other the third vet the third vet he sent his old dog there with uh, cancer of the liver after some x-ray were done uh, probably after some and the old schnauzer was given chemotherapy once a week by injection and uh, he was quite happy with this vet because the dog lasted eight months long longer than if there was no chemotherapy he spent about eight thousand dollars and uh, he had full respect for this vet because to him a good vet is one who explains all the blood test results and all the findings to him and this vet apparently was very meticulous to explain to him all the blood test results and, and everything unlike the second vet who according to him took a blood test and didn't explain anything to him about the results and uh, and it was for the ear infection and after that one month later his nozzle died uh, as far as the first vet is concerned, it, it was we call him the con vet because he had to uh, was advised to do surgery for nasal squamous cell carcinoma. 
which he told me actually there's no cure and uh, so the dog had a surgery and still had no cure and was suffering so he had the dog put to sleep so this is a story of the man with five schnauzers on his back tattoo on his back coming to see me today because he wanted to send in a community cat for treatment the community cat in his uh, condo was not eating and so he'll bring the cat here this Friday for me to check stories from the man with, with tat five tattoos in his back five tattoos schnauzers in his back Papaya Vets, December 5 to 014 Friday at 11am uh,